Hello guys, welcome to Math City with Miss Chi. Today we are going to talk about special right triangles. Let's analyze the given problem. So this angle is 45 degrees. We have a 90 degree angle. So therefore, this angle here is going to be 45 degrees. So in a 45, 45, 90 degree triangle, the legs, this side is a leg and this side is a leg and the legs are equal. So if this measures eight, then therefore Y is equal to eight. Now, X is considered hypotenuse. How do we find the hypotenuse of a 45, 45, 90 degree triangle? So we are going to take the leg times square root of two. This is a formula that we are using. Let's substitute. So we have x is equal to, the leg is 8, we multiply it by square root of 2, and so that would be 8 square root of 2. We cannot simplify this expression, therefore, the hypotenuse is 8 square root of 2. Let's try another example. Okay. This angle is 45 we've got a 90 therefore this angle will also be 45 degrees so with that being said this side and this side are going to be equal they are legs so n is equal to m so to find the legs we are going to get the hypotenuse and divide hypotenuse by square root of 2. This is a formula we are going to be using for this specific type of problem. Let's substitute. So we have hypotenuse, which is 5. We divide it by square root of 2. So notice that our denominator is a radical. It is a square root of 2. We cannot leave that as a radical by itself. So we need to rationalize. Rationalize is the process of taking out the radical in the denominator. And to do that, we are going to take exact same number. We multiply that number as a numerator and a denominator. The concept is we are simply multiplying by one. So remember, or let's recall basic fractions if I have 2 over 2, that's equal to 1. If I have x over x, that's equal to 1. And if I have square root of 2 over square root of 2, that is equal to 1. So we are multiplying the expression 5 over square root of 2 by 1, but it's just in a form of square root of 2 over square root of 2. Now let's simplify. So we have 5 square root of 2 over so 2 times 2 is 4 square root of 4 is a 4 is a perfect square number so therefore the bottom or the denominator is going to turn into a whole number 2 so n which is also the value of m is equal to 5 square root of 2 over 2. Okay, let's try this one more time. Number 3. So in this problem, we are given with angle for, um, this angle, which is 45, a 90 degree angle, and obviously this angle is going to also be 45 degrees. Meaning, this side and this side are going to be equal. A is equal to B because they are legs of a 45, 45, 90 degree triangle. So it is similar to what we have solved earlier. So therefore, let's use that formula that we already have established. We are going to take the hypotenuse 
and we divide the hypotenuse by square root of 2. So this is the formula we are going to be using for this problem. So we take V hypotenuse, which is 5 square root of 6. We divide this by square root of 2. And remember what we just talked about? We cannot leave square root of 2 by itself as a denominator, so we are going to rationalize by using that exact same number. So the numerator is now going to be 5 square root of 6 times 2 is 12 over square root of 2 times square root of 2 is square root of 4, which is a perfect square. But remember, we already have figured out that that square root of 4, which is a perfect square, is equal to 2. So I would just write 2 right here. That is the purpose why we rationalize the denominator to make it a whole number. Okay, so now in the numerator, focus your attention to square root of 12. Square root of 12 can be split into 4 times 3. You might be asking, why did I split 12 with 4 times 3 and not 6 times 2? So remember perfect square numbers. 1 square, which is 1 times 1. 2 square, which is 2 times 2. 3 square, which is 3 times 3. And so we are focusing our attention to these perfect square numbers. And notice, 4 is on the list. That is the 4. And so it is a perfect square number, and that's the reason why we are using 4 and 3. So we can split this into square root of 4 times square root of 3. And square root of 4 is 2. And square root of 3 is not on this list, so you got 1, th one 4. And 3 is not on there, so we're just going to drop square root of 3. So instead of writing um, square root of 12, we will write... 5 times 2 square root of 3 over 2. And notice we have an, um, a numerator and a denominator that's exactly the same, and I'm talking about the 2. So this right here can be canceled because that is going to be equal to 1. So we are left with 5 square root of 3 which is the value of the legs, A and B. So this is 5 square root of 3, and this is 5 square root of 3. So how about the other type of special right triangle? So we are given that this angle is 30, this angle is 90, and obviously if we do 180 minus 90 minus 30, then this angle is going to be 60 degrees. So um, with this type of triangle, the sides are different, um, obviously they look different. So we are going to label the sides with um, letters. So two which is the, short, uh, the shortest side of the triangle. We're going to call this a short leg. While x is the hypotenuse, we're going to just simply label that as hypotenuse. And y is long leg. So to find the, to find y, which is long leg, we are going to use the formula short leg times square root of 3. I would highlight this part right here. This is a formula in finding for long leg. So let's substitute. So y is equal to the short leg is 2 times square root of 3. Putting this together, that would give us 2 square root of 3. So we cannot simplify this expression. That would leave y as simply 2 square root of 3. Now, the last side of the 
a triangle that is missing that is hypotenuse which is x so to, to find the hypotenuse of a 30 60 90 degree triangle we are going to take the short leg times two this is a formula i i needed to highlight so to find hypotenuse we take short leg times two let's substitute so short leg is two the we are going to multiply that by two and so x is equal to four this is four okay let's try this again okay so how about this problem okay so we have a 60 degree angle a 90 and so therefore this is 30 degrees that will give us an idea that this is the short leg okay this is the hypotenuse and this is the long leg so to find the hypotenuse of a 30 60 90 degree triangle the short leg so which is v we are going to take hypotenuse because we are given with hypotenuse we divide the hypotenuse by two so i would highlight this part of the information that is a formula let's substitute so v is equal to two square root of six which is the hypotenuse we divide that by two and two divided by two is one which will leave us with square root of six so the short leg is square root of six right so we are missing with one more side and that is the long leg so to find the long leg which is u we are going to take the short leg and we are going to multiply that by square root of three this is a formula i am going to highlight these so I will know where I get this information. It is a formula. So let's substitute the given. We have u, which is equal to our unknown. Short leg is square root of six. We're multiplying that with square root of three. And six times three is 18, square root of 18. We can split square root of 18, can simplify this into into square root of 9 times square root of 2 because 9 times 2 is 18 isn't it and when we simplify square root of 9 okay so we're using 9 specifically because remember perfect squares we have 2 square which is 4 3 square which is 9 9 is a perfect square that's why we uh, simplify 18 into or split not 18 into 9 and 2 and so square root of 9 is 3 and we drop square root of 2 and so therefore u is equal to 3 square root of 2 all right let's try this one more time how about this problem okay so we have the hypotenuse which is m and and here is the short leg and eight square root of three is the long leg so let us find the n which is short leg we are going to take long leg which is given we are going to divide it by square root of three this is a formula all right let's substitute what we've got so n is equal to eight square root of three we divide this by square root of three and so notice we have the same value as the numerator and denominator we can cross that out and so
this will give us um n is equal to eight so this is eight now how do we find m so m here is hypotenuse so to find the hypotenuse of a 30 60 90 degree triangle we are going to take the short leg the short leg times 2 this is a formula I would um, consider highlighting and let's substitute so we have the short leg which is 8 times 2 so M is equal to 16 all right guys thank you for watching this video I'll see you in my next one have a good day.